Our study this morning is going to be on Genesis 42 from verse 1 to 38. Genesis 42 verse 1 to 38 whereby we are going to see uh, the sacred history of Joseph brethren or those brothers of Joseph. You remember last time we learned in chapter 41 of Joseph and Pharaoh, how Joseph interpreted Pharaoh's dream and how Joseph became the the ruler of Egypt under Pharaoh, under Pharaoh. We are going to see, and we saw, you remember, when Joseph was given that kingship by Pharaoh, what did he do? We saw that Joseph created many granaries because there was famine in Egypt. He created many granaries that all the Egyptians must go or had to go to buy their food in those granaries. And we saw they were not to be given. They were to buy. You all, you all remember why they were not to be given free, but they had to buy. We saw that they were not to be given free, meaning Joseph, as a type of Christ, even if you go to Jesus Christ, if you want to become a Christ disciple, the truth of our Lord, you must buy it. To buy it means you must deny yourself. Buying here means you must deny yourself truly because you cannot get into this truth or you cannot get into the kingdom of God without denying yourself. That is to buy. There is a price to, to pay. We saw all that. So now, if you remember, we said that Joseph, you remember, uh, the reason why he went into Egypt, if you go back a little bit, you'll find that he went there uh, when he was sold by his brethren. When he was sold by his, his brethren, you remember. They threw him at the pit. Then Reuben said, let us sell him instead. Instead of killing him, let us sell him unto the Egyptians or Ishmaelites, and he was sold. All this scenario, I told you, they were teaching about Christ Jesus, how Christ died for us. We sold him. He died because of our sins. All these things were teaching that way. They were, yeah, they were pointer to our Lord. Joseph was sold by his brethren, and his brethren means our evil nature. He died because of an evil nature and he was put into the pit until he went into prison and he stayed in prison. Christ stayed in prison, I told you, it means that in each and every person in this world, Christ or the spirit of Christ, it is in us, in prison, in us. It is put in prison by our flesh. It is in prison. Otherwise, when Christ is go and went out of prison, you remember after two years in Egypt, he became the Lord in Egypt. Not, that, yeah? Not Christ, Joseph. So, sorry, Joseph. When Joseph left the prison, he became the, the king or the ruler in Egypt in Egypt, the second. the second in command 
in Egypt. That means the moment you are born again as a Christian, the moment you are born again, you become, Christ in you, become the ruler in your flesh. You control, you can rule everything in yourself. There is no more control of your flesh. That's what it means. That's why he became a ruler in Egypt and he controlled everything. So these things I told you, they are deeper truth that we need to have a lot of things, into, uh, uh, thinking so that we may understand them. But I'm just trying to go back a little bit that you, that, so that we may understand the next chapter. Now, when Joseph came out of Egypt or, or became a ruler in Egypt, he built these granaries. That is, I told you, it is Christ Jesus uh, that in this world, Christ has so many granaries. That means a lot of truth in this world. Christ has written a lot of truth in this world that those people who are truly going to seek for it, those people who are going to go to the Christ granaries in this world, truly they'll get refreshment. The famine, because our soul is in famine because of lack of that goodness of God, that grace of God, we don't have it. But, but we can only get it through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we, have, we, we, we must go to these granaries. But when you come now to chapter 42, that's where we want to see what is going and what his brethren are going to do when they hear they are calling where in Egypt. So I start reading from verse 1, chapter 42. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look upon one? Sorry. Why do you look one upon another? Verse 2. And he said, Behold, I have, that, have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob said not his brethren. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob said not with his brethren. For he said, lest paradventure mischief befall him. Five. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. For the famine was in the land of Canaan. Six. And Joseph was the governor over the land. And he, it was, it was, it was that sold to all the people of the land. And, just, and Joseph's brethren came and bowed down to them before him with their faces to the earth. Let us reach, start, first study those verses before we go on. And here, we want to see all these what, it all, all, what all this mean? That these people or these Joseph brethren are going to go to Egypt to look for what? For corn. Uh, if we go back a little bit, there is a point I want here to understand first before we go on. We, you remember I told you in our nature, there is, we have two nature. These two nature, we have that which is the anger, which represent the wrath of God. And then 
we have what we call the love of God. And I told you, for those who have who knows these things, that man has never understood that God is always in these two principles. When you, when you do not have Christ, when you do not have Christ, you are always under the anger of God. And when you are under the anger of God, that means you are under the wrath of God. It means you are considered to be in fair famine. Famine. Ja, ja. It's because if you look somebody when he is hungry, that somebody always will try to find out he is not comfortable. He is thinking what he is going to eat. He is never at peace. Sinukweli. That is the rat. That is that's when we say that you are in famine. Uko katika ja. Nikumanisha without Christ. Without Christ, it means you are under the wrath. The wrath. That means you are hungry. Your nature is hungry. It is in famine. Are we together? And you remember when we talked about the dream of, of uh, Pharaoh, we saw seven fat one and seven lean one. I told you this, the seven fat one represent the nature of God under the love of God. God. But the seven lean one represent the wrath of God. That means nature under the wrath. And that's why we saw when the anger started confusing and consuming the fat uh, kettle or cane, it could never be, it could never get satisfied. That means if you go to somebody who has not, has not the spirit of Christ in himself, he is never satisfied in this world. No matter what you give him, no matter how much, even if he become a billionaire, he will want more and more. Because though he has gotten this worldly good, but still his soul is in famine. He is hungry. Because our soul will never be satisfied by anything of this world. Apart from who? From God himself. So here, I want you to understand that Joseph represent Jesus Christ. Joseph, that's why in Egypt, he is given, he is in charge of, of all granaries, all good things. But now, his brethren, who now are hungry, that means the dark side of God, of our nature, is hungry. It is hungry is hungry. What is, what is going to happen? They are going to go and to Egypt to fight corn there because they have heard that in Egypt there is corn. There is corn. You see now? That means in our, in our nature, this dark nature, because it is Egypt, there is the spirit of Christ. There is Christ in us. There is Christ in us. And there is grace in Christ. That means if you turn unto yourself truly and seek out the grace of God in you, you are going to have call. You are going to have the grace of God. And that's why Christ said uh, the kingdom of heaven is within, within you. Don't think that the kingdom of God is outside yourself. It is within you. Amen. Go and inside yourself and you are going to have to realize yourself that it truly Christ is in you, the hope of glory. So these people, Joseph brethren, they are going to go to Egypt to seek for corn because they are hungry. 
So we are going to see this. It is a, it, a, it is a, it is a teaching where we are going to learn about the life of a Christian. How we are born again. How we become the children of God. How hunger is going to drive us to, to go to, to seek for something in our Lord Jesus Christ. How we go to seek for that grace in our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what this is going to teach us. Sasawa. If you see these people when they are going to Egypt, his father, Jacob, is not going to allow Benjamin to do what? To go with them. He's not going to allow Benjamin to go with them. Why? You know, here, that is it. If you go back, you'll find that uh, the wife of Jacob was who and who? Leah and Rachel. and Rachel. But you'll find that I told you, if you come to the children of Leah, they represent the spirit of this world. And that's why Joseph, Jacob was, not, was first to be given Leah, the spirit of this world. And you'll find that when Jacob wanted to go back to Jerusalem, that's when he was given jo Joseph. Joseph. That's when Le and Rachel got who? Joseph. Joseph. And you know, even before they reached Canaan, when she was giving birth to Benjamin, she died. She died. All that one you shall come and see, it is the cross of Christ. So here, you are going to see Joseph here represent Christ. And Joseph is a son of Rachel. And Benjamin also is a son of Rachel. But now, this Benjamin, when you are going to seek for Christ, Benjamin is a true image of who? Of Christ. You don't, you, you know, you don't go and seek Christ. And that's why many people will never realize Christ. Why? Because whenever somebody is going to seek for Christ, the first thing you go dry. Even this Christ, you don't, you don't know him. You don't go with Benjamin. Benjamin is not there. Because Benjamin is the spirit of Christ. And that's why they'll go without who? Benjamin. Without Benjamin. And we shall see why even Joseph there will demand who? Benjamin. Because there is a very deep truth here that you are, that you are going to learn. You will go without Benjamin. Because anybody who goes to the church, he goes to seek for corn. He goes to seek for the grace of God. Because he feels there is hunger in his soul. But even when he is going there, he doesn't understand. Because we have said, Christ is in you, the hope of growth. And, because, and even if he is in you, you don't know. You go with your mind, with your outward man. That's why they are going to go without who? Without Benjamin. Yes. So we shall see. That's why he, was, he has to leave Benjamin first. Because when you go to seek for Christ, the spirit of Christ is not with you at first. Unaenda ukiwa dry. So when you are the end, how many went there? Who, how many people went to Egypt to seek for corn? Nuangapi wa the there were 10. Wakawacha nani? Benjamin. Na yule mwingine ambaye alikuwa pale ni nani? Ndio wawe kumina wangapi wawiri? Ni jo? Ni Joseph. You know Israel had what? 12? 12 sons. 12 sons. Sasa wanyo wanaeta pale ni, ni, ni kumi. Moja ako amewachwa. Na mungine ako wapi? So wanyo wanaeta ni watoto wanani? Walea. Yeah? Walea. Ni watoto walea. Watoto wa mwiri? Ni mwiri peke ake inaenda kutafuta nini? Chakula. Chakula. <laughs> you see now? So, hakuna wakati anybody, and you happen, your people don't know. Na wakati watu wameenda kanisa, 
ati wanaenda kutafuta the grace of Christ without even getting Benjamin wanasimamia pale as if they have got it na hiyo ni mwili peke yake tutaona kwa nini Joseph lazima awapatie ndio ndio warudi pale ile ndio kwanza walete nani walete Benjamin so from verse 5 to 8 anasema and Moses said father thus the children of Israel and others with them came to the to buy corn for the famine was also in Canaan but Joseph was the ruler of the land and sold corn to all the people in the land so nani hawa walikuwa wanatafuta corn Joseph even the Egyptians this is a point i want you to see the Egyptian were also seeking for corn from who from Joseph and you remember Jacob in Canaan represent who kra kwa hivyo nikumaanisha in this world even the wicked those people who completely they are not of the kingdom or they never see the kingdom of God they also seek what the corn, the corn. from who from kra from. from Christ meaning anybody in this world he survive because of common grace Christ is the ruler of this world he has been given this world by his father his father si ni kweli kwa hivyo nikumaanisha because he is the ruler of this world even if this kingdom the prince of this world anajaribu kudanganya watu lakini utakuja kuona anything that goes along with this world even for of the wicked the little thing we get in this world at whatever it is because of the bounty of our lord jesus christ because you can see the Egyptians were going to seek corn even the, even themselves from Christ that's what we call common grace the the children of Jacob from Canaan that means those who belong to the house of who of God of God also they were going to seek for what for corn those are the point i want to i want you to get in mind he says now when his brethren came to him they fell down with their faces to the earth before him and he saw them and knew them and carried himself straightly toward them i want to get that point now when his brethren came to him they fell down with their faces to the earth before him and he saw them and knew them which means if you are a child of god christ anajua kila nani kila mmoja he knows you his brethren came he knew them lakini wao hawakumjua nikumaanisha many go to seek christ christ know yani your heart he knows who you are he knows whether you belong to his yard you are his sheep anafanya nini anaju lakini hata wale ambao ni wake wengi wanga bado wafanye nini hamju lakini anakujua from the moment umechukua the first step na nilisikia the prodigal son wakati alikaa akafikiria kurudi nyumbani hata wakati alifikiria kurudi nyumbani baba akiwa nyumbani sana akafanya nini akamuona akajua that's my son he's coming back so ata ye Christ ndivyo they bowed to him nikumaanisha walienda kwa yani nikumaanisha mkenda kwa kanisa you start bowing to Christ kila mmoja anabo na hao wanabo Christ anawajua lakini kuna point moja hapa tunaambiwa they fell down with their faces to the earth before him and he saw them and knew them and carried himself straightly towards them Um, strangely because ama even though anajua wewe you are his brother na ama kaisa nakujua lakini in the first point he be hajitabui kwako he is a stranger to you yeye anajifanya a stranger a stranger tutaona ni kwa nini anajifanya a stranger kwa sababu you go to seek from him he has coin 
He knows you what you want. You are you want grace from God, ndio unataka. Lakini for the first time wewe haumjui yeye anakujua. Yeye ana behave straightly kwako. Ni kumaanisha hajistabui kwa kwako directly. Anataka kwanza aone wewe ni ndege utachukua hatua utachukua gani. Wewe ni ndege aina gani? Anataka kwanza akupime aone whether you are sick serious Nataka kwanza kukumbia ndio aone kama you are serious kama wewe ni mtu unakuja kufanya nini kumjaribu kumjaribu Na ndio unaona John chapter 2 verse 23 and 24 it says Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day many believed in his name when they saw the miracle which he did but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man for he knew what was in man yes second john chapter yani chapter 2 john chapter 2 John chapter 2 not second John. Yeah, so, sorry. John chapter 2 verse 23 and 24. John, John. the gospel of John. Mm. Sorry. Kiswahili soma. Okay, Kiswahili nasema hata alipokuwa hapo Yerusalemu kwenye siku kuu wakati wa Pasaka, watu wengi waliamini jina lake, walipoziona ishara zake alizozifanya. Lakini Yesu hakujiaminisha kwao kwa kuwa yeye aliwajua wote. Yes. You see, it is the same thing. Many believe in him. That's the same way his brother his brethren are going to Egypt to seek for corn. For corn. He behaved strangely unto them because alitaka wale wengi anasema he knows all anajua watu wote. Anawaelewa. Wale pale katika Jerusalem walienda pale kwa sababu ya nini? Ya miracles. Na wote wakasema wamefanya nini? wameamini. Kwa hivyo walikuwa wameenda pale kwa sababu ya miracles of ile wameona. Lakini Christ never committed himself to them. Yeye eh? anazijua roho zao. Anazijua, anajua wewe. Wewe ni wa sehemu gani? Umekuja kwa sababu gani? Ndio akufanya nini? Hakuji. Hakuji. Yes. Many goes and that's why you see the false preachers wanatumia je ya miracles. Kuna wenye wanakibia pale wakaona nini? Mi? Miracles. Those are not after Christ. They have gone there because of miracles. Na hawa walikuwa wameenda pale kwa sababu ya mimi, but Christ never committed himself to them because anajua all men. Walikuwa wameenda pale mwanako anataka kuona miracles. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha sio tu kwa sababu unakimbia unasikia Christ. Now these brethren they are going to Egypt to seek for corn, for corn. But Christ behaved strangely to them kwa sababu angetaka kwanza awaele. Remember wameenda pale kwa sababu ya njaa. Kwa sababu unasikia Christ yako na nini? na chakula. How many wakati Christ alifanya miracles walienda kwa sababu walienda kwa sababu walisikia Christ anafanya nini? Anapatia na mikaa na wakarudi the next day. Christ akasema namna gani? Mmekuja sio kwa sababu sio kwa sababu mmejua ukweli ama mmependa ukweli. Mmekuja kwa sababu nikula nini? Mlikula mikate. So that is the way. Eh? Mlikula mikate. Kwa hivyo 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 ndivyo sasa hapa tunaambiwa. So if you continue you'll see Uh, now when his brethren came to him they fell down with their faces to their eyes before him and he saw them and knew them and carried himself straightly toward them and spoke roughly with them Kiswahili nasema namna gani Eh and spoke roughly with them Sasawa Eh Eh mm. Yusufu akawaona nduguze mm-hmm. akawatambua mm-hmm. lakini alijifanya mm-hmm. kama mgeni kwao mm-hmm. akasema nao kwa maneno makali akawaambia mmetoka wapi nyinyi wakasema sorry wakasema tumetoka nchi ya Kanani ili tununue chakula akasema nao maneno makali akasema nao maneno makali and that's why people go wrong with the salvation They think the moment wewe unakubali Yesu Kristo unataka, unataka blessing. Sasa wewe unataka Christ afanye nini? Akubari, 
akubariki but they don't expect Christ to treat them roughly hawataki hawataki maneno mazito hawataki shida yani aingie katika shida ama asikie mambo ambaye aanze kuona maisha yake hayendi vizuri anataka aingie kwa kanisa abariki mambo yake yende mambo yake yende lakini hajui the moment ukiingia pale kitu ya kwanza Christ is going to do he is going to treat you roughly atafunga nati kabisa kukasa wewe ndio aone wewe ni mtu ina gani ni nini umekuja are you truly after the truth because through the truth is not gotten by wale watu ambao wanaitwa weaklings by lazy people ukweli wa kristo si wa watu ambao kabisa ati wao kama unaenda pale kubarikiwa ati upate baraka then you are not for christ hizi baraka unafikiria za mwili ati ndio unaenda pale christ is going to treat you roughly kwa hivyo tutaona kwa nini ata, vile atawa treat ndio sasa gani afanye nini so inasemekana eh akawauliza and Christ self sorry and he saw them and knew them and carried himself straightly toward them and spoke roughly with them roughly and said to them where come ye they said out of the land of Canaan to buy food but though he knew them they knew him not they knew not him yet hata kana kwamba anawajua hawakufanya nini hawakuwa wanamjua remember these brethren ndio walimuuza nani Yesu Kristo yeah sorry they sold joseph nikumaanisha even sisi we are the one christ died because of, the, of us christ was sold at the cross because of our sins we sold christ our nature is the one which crucified christ and that's why he said christ died he took our flesh he took our body to die for us so we sold him if you get that point it will be very good for you we sold him so even christ and joseph brethren sold who joseph and even when they did that they never knew him even when they are going to buy a coin They never knew Joseph. The same way it is with us. You know when we say we saw the Christ it means when we were in our first Adam. Our first Adam before Adam fell because we were in Adam. That means we had all the grace of God. We had Christ in us. The spirit of Christ was in us. But when we fell we saw Yani we put Christ into prison or we throw him into a pit. But after when truly those who find the hunger in their soul that's the time they remember Christ has grace. That's time you want to go and seek for that grace so that you may be born again in the second uh, Adam. That's why we, that's what we do. You must be born again. People have never known what is it to be born again. To be born again, not that you are being born again because you are born you are generated in the first Adam. That that one we call we call nature generate generation. It is not that one because when you say to be born again, see at the kuzaliwa ya kwanza ndio mzaliwa na mama yako. Hapana. We were first born in Christ Jesus. That is the first Adam. It is preach it is spiritual birth. Now this yani yani to be born again now it is to be born again in the same Christ. Sasawa. Yeah, if you get that one well and good. From verse 13 to 17 asema Joseph brethren say because you remember he asked them uh, verse 7 and Joseph saw his brethren and he knew them but made himself strange unto them and spake roughly unto them and he said unto them where's come ye and they said from the land of Canaan to buy food eight and Joseph knew his brethren but they they knew not him nine and Joseph remembered the dream which he dreamed of them and said unto them we are spies ye are spies to see 
the nakedness of the land, you are calm. You see now, that's the point you are going to see. He treated them roughly. Sasa atasema namna gani? You are spa, spies. To see the nakedness of the land, you are calm. Ten, and they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are, they, are thy servant calm. You know why here, when we come to the New Testament, Christ is telling you that you are going to buy food to carry the church. But he's saying, you are not serious. You want to come into the church to be spies in the kingdom of Egypt. That means you are not of God's kingdom. You have been sent by another one. So you are not serious of the call. You are come in the church, but you have not come in the church because you want the Ture to belong to the church. You have not truly come to buy the corn. You have not come for the grace of God to buy grace from me. No. Umekuja kwa nia zako. You are a spy. You have been sent by another one. Because in the church of God, we have those people who, are, who have come, they, have, they, have, they are pretending that they, are, they have come to buy the grace from Christ, that they want to be the children of God, that the truly really they want salvation, but they are not. They have not come because of that. They are not. They have not come because they, they, they need corn. Because corn here, it is the true wisdom of God, the true salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. But there are some who have gone to the church as spies, because they have heard in in the church there is food. Let us go and have food. But when they read to, to the church, they are not interested with that food, that true grace. Yes. They are spies. Yes. That is it. Wengine wanakuja pale kwa sababu he want to be a church member anataka ingia kanisa he want to make money kutumia jina jina la Kristo la Kristo so he is not interested in the call he is not after the the grace that's why Christ is telling his brethren you are spies nini you are not serious tutaona kwa nini anawaambia you are spies kwa hivyo mmekuja lakini sio ati kwa sababu mnataka call hapana Mmekuja kani mnataka kujifanya mnakuja kwangu ndio mkiingia pale mfanye mambo ya mfanye biashara zenu Verse Sikia verse then he says and they said unto him Nay my lord but to buy food are thy servant come So 11 anasema we are all one man's sons we are true men Thy servant are no spies. Nasikia wamekata? Wamesema hapana, we are not spies. We are all of one man. Wacha usikie vile atawaambia. 14. Eh uh, 12 and he said unto them, "Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land you are come." That in and they said the servant are to Sikia, and thy servant are twelve brethren, the son of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. Sasa wanawambia, moja ako wapi? Uyo ni Benjamin? Na mungine is not? They don't know Joseph. And if they don't know, they are talking with who? With Joseph? With Joseph. Wanasema, one is with his father, but... One is not. So we will if you go through the, to the worldly men, the carnal men, they will never know Jesus Christ. Because to them, he is dead. Yeah, to them he is dead. That's why he hates. Yes. Uh, and they said, 
That is 13 to Mesoma. That they were, they were how many? The youngest is, the, is, the, is this day with your father and one is not. Which means when people, even when they are seeking for corn, even when people are seeking for grace, to them, Jesus Christ is not. They don't feel him. They don't know him. You see? And the young one is with his father. They, they hear Christ is with his father in heaven. So they don't, you know, that, that's why they, they are saying, you know, one is not. That is Joseph. Christ is not. To them, Christ is dead. Is dead. Yeah. And the one they are seeking, the, other, the young one is with his father. That's what they are telling Joseph. Look here. 15 and 7, and Joseph said unto them, that is it that I speak to you, that you are spies. Na hiyo ndiyo ni mesema nyinyi wa spies. Kama Joseph is not. And Benjamin is, is with his father. That means you are spies. Because that's a, <laughs> that means you are spies. You are not, you have not come to the church. You are not seriously. You are not, you are not after the call. You are not after the grace. Because the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, people have never known. If you truly don't know the truth, if you don't have the knowledge of Christ, you are seeking nothing. Because Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Many people are ignorant. Millions who go to the churches, ignorant about the truth. But yet, when I say, when I'm when I'm yes, okay? you can never love Christ without knowledge, without the truth. Hakuna. It's as if you tell a blind man that he can see, can you see the sun? He cannot see the sun. So how can he explain the sun? How can he love the sun? So the truth is the only thing that will make you love our Lord Jesus and know him. Amen. Yes. People have, they have, they have come a gospel of prosperity, a superficial gospel, which doesn't teach the truth. It only teaches about the things of this world, but not the truth. So you are going to seek a Christ who can only give muka, mukate. That's not the truth. And that's why you are spies. If you don't know Joseph is not, and, and Benjamin is with his father, then it means you are spies. Yeah. Kama nyinyi munakuja kwa kanisa, and yet you don't know the truth, and you are talking of Christ with his father in heaven, it means then you, you, you people, you are spies. You are not serious. You are a spy, a spy. And who are you spying for? If you are not with the Christ, who are you spying for? It is the, the, the other one, the devil. You are a child of the devil. You don't belong to the kingdom of God. That's why you have come to spy. Even you are to agree. Okay. Listen what he's going to say. Verse 15. Hereby you shall be proved by the life of Pharaoh you shall not go forth hence except your youngest brother come hither. If you are not spies, you are not spies. Lazima, your youngest brother wapi? Hapa. That means if truly you have gone to the church of Christ Jesus and you are truly after the heavenly kingdom of God, Christ, the young, the young Christ in you must be there. Must, you must be born again. There must be a Benjamin with you. That means, that means in the church, for those who truly are going to have understanding, that means when you are born again, you start developing what we call the spiritual eye, the spiritual ear, understanding. All this one are proof that a Benjamin is where? He is, is, in, he is with you. Which means now, where, where you are not a spy, you are not a spy. You are a member of, Jesus, of, of the Church of Christ. You are not a spy. Like if Kabisa, there is not those fruit of our Lord Jesus Christ in you. Even if you are in the church, you are a spy. 
Na that's why Christ is telling them, nyinyi kabisa it will be known in Egypt that you are spies unless you bring your brother. Baka mmuleta wapi? Mmuleta hapa. Ndio nimuone. Ndio nijue nyinyi hamka nini? Nyinyi sio spy. Sasa ni kumaanisha Christ anasema namna gani? You shall know them by their their fruits. If truly you have come in the church and you don't have those fruit of Christ that that is Benjamin in you then you are not you are not for the church. Yeah, you have come for other business in the church. And that's why we say uwezo kuona mtu ako kwa kanisa ya Kristo at the age he's a he's a he's a he's a child of God. One thing he is corrupt. He is full of pride. He is after the worldly riches. Arabu says aya nasema bwana afanye nini? Asifi? He is a spy. He is a spy. Hakuna. Mpaka yeye aonesane nini? The fruits. A Benjamin awe pale. Ndio yani crazy ajue yeye he is not a spy. Lakini akiwa sasa yeye anaenda pale na na, na, na tamaa zote za mwili. Unakuta ukiangalia the present generation church. Inafundisha nini? Prosper Prosperity. Prosperity they are the fruit of the darkness. They are the fruit of the of the spy. They are the fruit of oh, oh, of Lucifer. Prosperity. Why do you want to be to prosper in this world? It's because you want pra, pride. Then you know what you most of the preachers nowadays. Wanataka kuwa like politicians. Politicians akinunua hii, akibaye akienda na magari kubwa wanafanya nini? Wanaenda pale. And yet wakuwauliza wanasema wao they are servant of who? of God. They are not, my friend. They are spies. They are spies. That's what Joseph is saying. They are spies. And I'm telling you this is the truth. Na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. Haya. 17. And he put so sorry eh uh, 15. 16. 16. Sisi asema said one of you. Said one of you and let him fetch your brother and you shall be kept in prison that your words may be proved whether there be any truth in you or else by the life of Pharaoh surely you are spies eh yeah. you see we are going to see why and asema hivyo send one of you and let him fetch your brother and you shall be kept in prison and you shall be kept in prison that your words may be proved whether there be any truth in you or else by the life of Pharaoh surely you are spies kwa hivyo hapa anataka anataka kusema namna gani mmoja abaki ndio mfanye nini wengine muende mmoja aende nyinyi mubaki na muwe kwenye mfungo jela atakapoleta yule ni mmoja hapana it's the opposite ni wa ni mmoja baki kwa hivyo kile kinapotea Kiswahili nasema mperekeni mmoja wenu aende akamlete ndugu yenu na nyinyi mtafungwa hata maneno yenu yahakikishwe kama mna kweli nyinyi yes one aende amulete yes ndio fanya ni mweka wapi so You know here he is saying truly you have come and you want call in order to prove you that you are not spies what uh, one will go to fetch who Benjamin, Benjamin. the rest will wake up in yes. that means if truly you want to be a yan kabisa to have grace all your bodily desires All your fleshly desires must be put in prison. They must be, must be put in prison and one must go and fetch who? The Benjamin. So that you may be proved through the, you are not spa. Takini sio kusema that you have come to, to the church of Christ, unasema you are after the corn, unasema you are not a spy and yet you don't want to deny yourself the yeah, the desire of the flesh kataa mwili kataana na mambo ya mwili jifunge kabisa na ukatae 
put them in prison hizo tamazifanya nini si zihishe and then you fetch who benjamin ndio benjamin afanya nini because the moment we wenyewe we deny yourself that means the grace of god that the inner man atafanya nini atakuwa the inner man the true man in Christ Jesus atafanya nini the moment we mwenyewe unakatana mambo ya mwili the more you suppress your bodily interest your desire flesh interest pride envy all these things of the world then Christ is going to grow in you and that's the bad a bad man put yani ndio nijue Christ anawaambia if you have come to the church deny yourself so that i may be born in you bedja minafanya nini apatika apatikane ndio ni niamini kweli nyinyi you are not spies ni wangapi kabisa wanaweza kubali hiyo ni wachache wengi wanaenda kwa kanisa and they want to have even prosperity ndio wawe na envy pride chuki mejaa kwa kanisa watu wana, wanafanya hata uchawi kwa kanisa watu wanafanya mambo mabaya kwa kanisa yale mambo ya mwili yote unataka kwenda naye wapi Kani? kanisa kanisa Yale yote ndio nataka kwenda lakini Kristo anasema mna gani deny put your brother in prison mukae pale for three days what does my, what does three days mean three days means the three principle the three principle there is i told you the three principle hapa ni nini inamaanisha the first principle about the dark nature the second principle ambaye sasa dio inamaanisha the love of christ na the outward body the third principle hizo unaambia sasa ukatae kabisa zikae katika prison ndio the new man azari azariwe kama unataka yani kabisa kama unataka na unaona even christ wakati alikufa lika siku ngapi tatu Three days ndio akamaliza nini mambo ya mwili akasema it is fi? finished kwa hivyo kumaanisha mambo ya mwili imefanya nini imei kwa hivyo hata nyimbo takasi siku ngapi tatu ndio sasa namleta ndio beje amenifanya nini apatikane sasa sawa 17 and he put them all together into word three days and he put them all together in in word three days 18 and Joseph said unto them the third day this do and live for I fear God 19 this do and live after the third day Christ I said my it is finished na akafanya nini na na akashida mwili kumaanisha hii siku tatu walikaa ni kumaanisha ni kumaliza mambo ya nini ya mwili ya mwili 19 if you be true men sasa ni 19 If you be true men let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison go ye carry corn for the famine of your houses kama nyinyi ni ni watu wa yani kabisa nyinyi wa people you are truly let one about wapi in prison nyinyi mwingine mfanye nini we hapa nataka kusema namna gani even if you become a christian hata kana kwamba utamaliza mambo ya mwili utangangana na namna gani huwezi maliza completely there is always attachment with the heart with the flesh there is always attachment manake hii attachment ndio yani inatunganisha na mwili by nature ni kumaanisha hauwezi maliza maliza nini nature complete completely even if you deny yourself let one sasa mmoja afanye nini abaki ni kumaanisha ukiwa as long as you are in this body you can never be perfect perfected wacha mmoja abaki nyinyi mwingine mfanye nini muende sasa mkafanya nini mkaleta nani Benjamin sikiza and Joseph said unto them the that day this do and live for for I fear God if you be true men let one of your brethren be bowed in the house of your your prison usisahau aliwaweka siku tatu lakini sasa anaona kabisa hawa watu kweli eh, sasa wacha wabakishe moja au wengine wafanya nini waende nikusema kumaanisha there is a time inafika even your bodily desire you can use them for god pa, purpose now manaka wakati ume deny yourself every faculties that we have of our nature when it is enlightened you can use it for god purpose sasa ndio nasema wacha moja abaki because yani you cannot be perfect the other one nature 
has been enlightened now can go and fetch who? Be Benjamin. Manake sasa ni kumaanisha ukishafundishwa sasa in the church of Christ if you are a child of God you can use now your natural nature to seek for who? For Benjamin. For that inner man. Sasa umepata nguvu, umekaa pale yani ume ume ume, ume katika prison that prison kumaanisha you have denied your natural nature sasa umekuwa a little bit enlightened now Christ can allow you hata ukitembea na watu wengine hauwezi choto na mambo ya nini ya mwi so you can move freely now to go and fetch who Benjamin manake uko na advantage sasa at least umefanya nini umejijua thank you umejijua sasa 20 anasema but bring your youngest brother unto me so shall your word be verified and you shall not die as they did so Mwende mleta nani Mwende mleta your youngest brother sasa mkuje na yeye and your word will be ve- verified Nikumaanisha wakati umekuwa enlightened in the church of God you can now f- move freely Christ can allow you to move freely though he is attached with you he has been left you are you are still with him because there is yani amekushika hiyo mwili yako amekushika na one person that one person kusema is that principle of attachment ambaye hiyo lazima ibaki hata kana kwamba wewe umekuwa mwana wa Mungu hata kana kwamba umezaliwa na in Christ Jesus bado unabaki katika huu mwili si ni kweli hiyo ndio anabaki naye all the other faculties zinakuwa enlightened to help you to seek for Benjamin sasa muende mlete nani muende mlete Benjamin because now umejua jia 21 sasa hapo ndio shida katokea and they said one to another we are very guilty concerning our brother in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us and we would not hear therefore is this distress come upon us sasa unasikia mwana wa Mungu wakati amekuwa enlightened anaanza kuona even why Christ had to die at the cross at the cross sasa ameanza kuona ukweli you know people hata wenye wanaenda kusema Christ died for us wengine hata wajui wengine wanaongea tu kama parrot like a parrot but they don't see the deep meaning of that death hawajui kabisa what happened wengine hata they can even wana yani ndio nasikia wengine wanaenda ku moon na ndio naona Christ pale at the cross wale walienda to moon for him aliwaambia mna gani don't moon for me moon for, moon for yourself because wale walikuwa na moon they were mourning like other people kwa sababu wameona mtu amekufa lakini they never knew what god was doing was doing kwa hivyo kama wangejua Hawangelia, wangefanya nini? Wangefura? Wangefurai. That's why he was telling me and him like that. So hapa naye ndio unasikia sasa sasa hapa naye Christ anasema namna gani? Anasema we have eh, hawa sasa ambaye wame wamefika wameambiwa waende sasa wameanza kuelewa. Unasikia una, unasikia wameanza wame kuelewa waende na wameambiwa waende watafute their brother. They have started understanding the deeper truth bako ameanza ku feel gi- guilty si juu kama tunaona pale wameanza kuona dhambi yes wameanza kuona dhambi ni kusema mkristo many people that's why utakuja kuona somebody is corrupt lakini anasema bwana afanye nini asifi asifiwe ni kumaanisha huyu mtu hata kana kwamba anasema ni mwako kwa kanisa hajui dhambi hajaona dhambi ni kwa sababu hajazaliwa tena the spirit of christ hajazaliwa haja, haja ndani yake kama angezaliwa ndani yake he would have seen the sinfulness of sins na awe guilty hata hezi ongea hivyo mbele ya watu hezi ongea hivyo mbele ya watu so how and you know ona sasa they started kujiuliza kuona vile joseph alijaribu walitaka kumuua pale mpaka wakaanza kuona kabisa sisi wenyewe hii mambo ambayo imetukuta saa hiyo hata hawajajua Joseph wameanza kuona ile mambo walifanya 
sio kama tunaona pale those things that they did zikaanza wakaanza kujiuliza and they said one to, one to another we are very guilty concerning our brother in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us and would not hear therefore is this distress come upon us that is how a man who have seen true uanga anaanza kusumbuka wakati anaanza kujiona sasa na anaona yeye vile hako mbaya machoni pa Mwenyezi Mungu and that's why he will say nobody can repent unless the spirit of god yani and move him to re- true repentance true repentance haipatikani kwa mtu wa kawaida usidanganywe mtu ambaye hajamwona dhambi zake hata akisema ati ati, ati ametubu ni uongo ile kuanga ni uongo true repentance is very deep deep is very profound yani ni kitu ambaye inatokana mbali sana kama ujaona dhambi kwa ukweli even why Christ died, died you cannot repent you cannot truly really repent so when you go to verse 22 it says and Reuben answered them saying speak speak I unto you saying do not sin against the lad uh, sorry against the child and you would not hear therefore behold also his blood is required you remember Reuben ndio aliwaambia msifanye nini msimuue wacha wacha tumuuze badala kumuua let us sell him to who to where to the Israelites sasa ndio nakumbuka nakumbuka mimi nilikuwa nimewaambia so hiyo ni guiltiness ambaye binadamu uanga anapata mwenye ameanza kufanya nini kuanza kuona uzito wa wa dhambi 23 and they knew not that Joseph understood them even when they are saying that for he spake unto them by interpreter even wakati wanaongea hayo yote they never knew that Joseph was hearing them remember wanaongea hayo yote Joseph wako wapi iko interpreter katikati ya, yake na wao mm. sasa hata wakati wanasema wana feel their guiltiness Christ amewaangalia tu na anasikia yote hilo wanafanya nini wanasema lakini wao walikuwa nafikiria Christ afanye nini haelewi even their guiltiness haelewi kwa sababu walikuwa naongea na Christ through interpreter who is the interpreter here the holy spirit of god because he is the one you know right now we talk about Christ Christ was in this world with our human flesh but do we see him now So he talked with us through interpreter by the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit. So even when we are talking even when we are tunajidanganya hata wakati tuna sin against Christ hatujui Christ anatusiki anatusikia na anatuona in one time. Ni kwa sababu sisi we don't even understand yeye anaongea through his interpreter by the Holy Spirit. Kwa hivyo ndio unasikia the church the last day church inaitwa Antichrist Antichrist. Why? because the spirit which is in that people it is not the spirit of Christ they are anti antichrist Christ yeye anawaona lakini they have the spirit of this world kwa hivyo they are anti Christ they are against Christ they are not of Christ their spirit is a spirit of this world they are the people who are seeking prosperity because Christ aliwaona samani nyinyi hatuko pamoja na nani na nyinyi kwa hivyo sasa ndio nasikia akisema hawakuweza kumjua walikuwa guilty hata wakati wanaongea hawakuelewa Christ maana Christ alikuwa na yani Joseph alikuwa anaongea na interpre, interpreter kwa hivyo nikumaanisha hata saa hii hakuna mtu anaona Christ Christ talk with the spirit and wewe sasa wakati una, 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 una go against you don't even go with the, with the interpreter nikumaanisha haufanyi nini haumuelewi hau Christ sasa sawa and he turned himself about from them and wept and returned to them again and communed with them and took from them Simeon and bowed him before their eyes even when Christ died you can see the mercifulness of God yeye wakati alisikia vile wanaongea the guiltiness because he, he, he had come to save them he had the coin yeye he turned from them akafanya nini akalia the, you can see the love of god in man wakati anaona vile mtu ako katika shida 
the how man ameshikwa na mwili that Christ our Lord even he's a merciful lord at the end one time he weep for us ni kwa sababu yeye anajua ile shida yani yani ambaye tuko yeah but if ile tumeshikwa na mambo ya dunia that many few shall see the kingdom of god kwa sababu ya mambo ya hii dunia vile imewashika mpaka wakati anaona kuna wale ambao wamesikia kabisa wamejua what he has come to do to do yeye kabisa ana he, he wept for them ana fry it is not sio kulia kwa sababu ya nini ni happiness maana aliona even his brethren wenye kabisa walimweka wamefika pahali wameweza kufanya nini ku, ku regret unajua wanaongea haya yote he akaanza kusikia haa watu in fact they are yani uh, they are guiltiness they are repenting akaanza kusikia true repent, repentance akaanza kusikia true repentance and that was his happiness manake he wanted them to na hapo ndio safari moja akaenda akachukua simeon akamweka in the prison akamwambia waende wakafanya nini wa wakuje walete wakuje walete Benjamin. Sasawa 25 eh, Then Joseph commanded to fill their sack with the corn and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the for the way and thus did he did he unto them. So This is a most lovely rich figure showing how God takes nothing away from the repenting sinner. When he is when he in his will give up all and resolve to cleave steadfastly to God. You see now Christ here has filled the sack. You can see after perseverance After perseverance after Christ accusing them that you are spies after putting them in prison for three days even after admitting that one should be put in prison and they go and fetch who Benjamin, Benjamin. because Benjamin is far he must give them provision because to get Benjamin he himself he must give them the corn in order for yani that grace in yani that grace in you to grow the same Christ is the one who is going to do what to give you grace because hakutumi uende na nguvu za na nguvu zako nikumaanisha if you want to grow in Christ Jesus you want to be somebody the same God Christ has given us provision the truth the scripture everything Those are the provisions. If truly you are going to seek the truth in the scripture, you are going to be filled, to be filled. Utafanya nini? Utajazwa. Hakuna mambo mengine. Utaja? Na sasa tunaona even the coin ile walikuwa wamekuja naye akafanya nini? Akaiweka pale. Kwa gunia. Nikumaanisha nini? You cannot buy salvation with ma with money you cannot buy hawezi kwenda tuseme sasa ati wewe unapeleka pesa kwa kanisa ati sasa bahasha unapelekea watu ati unasema hii ni ya nini in the kingdom of god no money grace it is for free free ukienda na pesa christ kabisa hatachukua anything kesa atachukua anything akawarudishia kila kitu akaweka kwa gunia wakarudi naye sasa and then God filled his sack and, rest- and restore him all the money which he gives to the poor and miserable and in his blessing again and lay it aloft in his provision that the man sees that God has afforded it him again in his wonderful blessing that mtu anatakiwa aone Mungu amekupatia freely It is for grace and grace all oh, only. It is the grace of God. Mm. Seek it and you are going to be filled. Mm. Don't go with money. Mm. 
Watu wanafikiria ati sasa ukienda kwa kanisa we unaenda kutoa tithes, unaenda kutoa siku ya offering, unaenda kutoa pesa mingi sana. Unaambiwa ati utabarikiwa. Hiyo yote tunafundishwa hawa walipatiwa sakri kajazwa na pesa zenyewe walikuwa nazo wakaambiwa hata hizo sita endeni nazo. Na watashangaa wakati utafika kwa nyumba waone haya. Kumbe kabisa kabisa hakuna kitu Kaisa alikuwa anataka. Paka wataogopa tena. Wataogopa. Hebu tusikie vile watasema. Hmm? 27. 27 and Joseph commanded to fill their sack with corn and to put everyone's money into their sack again. Also provision for their journey. Even when you are going to the, even provision for for your journey. Meaning when truly you have set out to seek the kingdom of God mm. even provision kila kitu ambaye unahitaji Christ will give you utapewa mm. and that's why Christ says seek ye first the kingdom of God all other things shall be added uh, unto you mm. but man because that he doesn't trust God yeye huanga anafanya oh opposite seek ye the world and then you go to the church ndio sasa watu wanafikiria ati hiyo ndio jia aliwapatia mpaka provision ya kwenda kutafuta nani kuleta nani Benjamin kwa hivyo nikumaanisha nikumaanisha that new man in Christ Jesus wewe usifikirie kuna any work to do na ndio aliwaambia sasa tufanye nini Christ akwambia your work is all to believe oh kuamini at mimi am the lord and i have everything I have all the provision niko na kila kitu na nitowapatia kila kitu na hakuna kitu mtafanya nini mtako mtakosa na ndiyosikia mwana wa Mungu akizimama katika ukweli hata kosa hii dunia utapatiwa baka because wewe you know hapa lazima to differentiate because hapa ni watu wanaenda wanaleta shida if you are going to have the mind of this world that unataka uwe kama politician then utaona kana kwamba Christ hakupatii but if your purpose is the kingdom of god meaning Christ said my kingdom is not of this wow so if you are going to be like Christ Christ had no hair to lay his head he, meaning Christ was never interested with anything of this world mm. so through the year kama you are for Christ imam provision ya kutafuta ufalme wa Kristo hiyo yote utapata lakini kama unataka kuwa kama matajiri wengine then you, you will feel offended Utasikia kabisa wewe nikana kwamba Christ eh, eh utaona kana kwamba kwa hii mambo iko namna gani because akili yako ina, ina keep it a changing na mambo ya nini ya dunia ya dunia na unaliganisha the kingdom of God with the kingdom of this world sasa unaona kana kwamba Christ hakubariki lakini kama utaelewa at wewe true you after the kingdom of God Christ will give you provision hautakosa na ndiposa David yakasema he has never seen a child of god who have slept hungry yule ambaye amesimama na katika ukweli tunaona mpaka Elijah alikuwa anatoa chakula na nini na ndege za ngani si amletea chakula na you know a crow is very hungry lakini inachukua nyama inafanya nini inampelekea na unajua vile hata hiyo inapenda nyama so unafundishwa even that one ambaye inapenda nyama za itakuletea kwa hivyo akaweka anaambiwa are they did to them and they laded their brethren upon their ass sikia and jack and joseph commanded to fill their sack with the corn and to put everyone's money into their sack again also provision for their journey and they did so to them and they laded laid their burdens upon their asses and went their way but when one of them opened his sack to give his ass provider in the inn He perceived his money that lay uppermost in the sack and said to his brethren my money is restored to me see it is in my sack then their hearts failed them and they were afraid one with another and said why has god done this unto us you see why were they afraid why were they afraid kama ni mtu wa mwili angefanya nini Ha? Hata angeambia hao. Hata angeambia hao wengine. Hata angeambia hao wengine. 
pesa yangu imerudi. Ati pesa yangu imefundishwa. Ni toa tu na kuweka mfuko maendeleo safari. Yes. Lakini sasa you remember now how watu wameanza kupata humility. Mm. Walianza hata kutubu, walianza wameanza sasa kuona the reality of everything. Kuna, Kwa hivyo eh kuna kitu kimeingia ndani yao. Ana hapa sasa wameanza kuona the enormity of sin. Tamaa za mwili, remember tamaa ya mwili ilikuwa imewekwa prison siku ngapi? Siku ta? Sasa nikumaanisha yule mtu anakuwa ndani yao sasa ye hana tamaa. Sasa wakati ameona hii ni makosa manake walikuwa wameenda kununua corn na pesa zimewekwa bado hazikuenda sasa hata wanaona ni kana kwamba wameiba mpaka sasa wanafanya nini wanao go eh sasa hata hii mambo ya pesa hawafanyi nini hawataki afadhali hata ilipe kule <laughs> you see that is the way mwana wa Mungu wakati ameanza kulia rais hata yeye hataki anything ambaye kabisa haiperekani na nini na neno la nani la Mungu na Mungu that's why the fear sasa kashido sasa hii pesa imepatikana namna gani na kabisa mimi kabisa singetaka the king of egypt joseph ajue tena tumefanya nini tumeenda na pesa you see now hiyo itawasumbua mpaka mpaka wakifika kwa nyumba wacha tutasikia that is 35 nasema eh that is and he said unto his brethren my money is restored and lo it is even in my sack and the heart failed them and they were afraid saying one to another what is this that god has done unto us 29 and they came unto jacob their father and to the lord of canaan and told him all that befell unto them saying the man who is lord of the land the man who is the lord of the of the of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country uh, that one and we said unto him we are true men we are no spies that two we be twelve brethren sons of, sons of our father one is not and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan that three and the man and the man the lord of the country said unto us hereby shall i know that you are you are true men leave one of of your brethren here with me and take food for the famine of your household and be go so hapa kuna sida 34 and bring your youngest brother unto me then shall i know that you are not spies but that you are true men So will I deliver you your brother and you shall track traffic in the land. Sasa mnajua anaambia nani? Joseph, no no Jacob. Jacob sasa jua anaambia because it is their father, is their father. Now hapa I want you to take it this way that uh, Jacob here is going to play a point that yeye hawa wote ni watoto wake. You get the point? Hawa wote ni watoto wake. And that one represent our body, our nature. Na wakiwa watoto wake sasa wao wanamwambia namna gani? Wamwambia the Lord of that nini anataka nini? Ame amebakisha nani? Amewacha Simon pale. Si ni kweli? Na sasa anataka nani? Benjamin. Ndio wafanye nini? Ndio sasa wawe kabisa eh Awachilie wanataka Benjamin ndio waende waachilie nani Simon Is it a point? Na Jacob atasema namna gani? Ndio sasa tuelewe hii point vizuri. Jacob atasema namna gani? 35. And it came to pass uh, and it came to pass as they emptied their sacks that behold every man's bundle of money was in his sack kwa wakati walikuwa na kila mtu ana ana empty his sack kila mmoja akakuta nini akakuta pesa yake iko wapi iko pale kila kila mtu alikuwa na sack yake wakaona kila mtu hakuna mtu hakuna mtu ambaye yote yenye walikuwa nanunua yote ilikuwa inaweka wapi in the sack and when both they had and when both they and their father saw the bundle of money they were afraid that is six and Jacob their father said unto them 
Me have ye breathed of my children. Joseph is not. And Simeon is not. And you'll take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. You see now, kitu ya kwanza Jacob, wakati umemwaga the sack, wameona kila, kila sack iko na pe? Kwa hivyo sasa hii ni wizi. They were afraid, all of them. Even their father. Na sasa tena imesemekana waende na Benjamin ndi wafanya nini? Wachukue sasa? Simon. Sasa Jose, yani eh, Jacob is afraid. Akona uoga. Why? You have taken who? Joseph is not. Eh? Yeah? Simon is Simon. Simon now pale. Sasa tena mnataka muende na nini? Na Benjamin. Sasa hiyo ni kumaanisha nini? That means even nature because Joseph here represents the nature. Even nature itself it is it is not happy when Joseph is not there. You are going to see why. Because this Jacob here represent nature. Joseph is not. In nature, Joseph is not. Christ is not there. Because, you know, in the, second, in the first Adam, we are when man sinned, the image of God went away. Which means, the normal person, the first Adam, or the children of the first Adam, the again, Christ is not there. So, Jacob is saying, Joseph is not there. Simon now is not also. Now you want to take Benjamin. Even the little light that is in nature, you also want to, to take it. Because now he is not, he is afraid that he is going to lose everything. Nature is afraid that he is going to lose everything. 37. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee, deliver, deliver him into my hand, and I'll bring him to thee again. That's it. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief before him, by the way in which you go, then you shall bring down my gray hair with his sorrow to the grave. Reuben, amesema, yeye afanya nini? Aende, atasimami? So, Jacob atakata. Completely. Lakini utakuja kuona, tuwakati utakuja kuigia the next chapter, nani ambaye atakuwa kabisa Jacob atakubali, awe kama ndiyo musimamishi. Ni juu? Ni juda. So we shall, we shall come and see all this scenario that we have said this last part. We are to, we shall be studying 43. You saw that one. It is a good number of things. We are going to Egypt. Your safari will end. We shall see it again. Slowly to yell, to yell away. Sasawa. At that point, Nanya Konaswari.